Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. It's very loud out here. I'm on the street basically, but I'm going to Jet's Pizza. I've already ordered online. I'm going to run in and pick it up and I'll be back. Okay, so one of the items I got was from Jet's was the uh, Jet's bread. So this is a, um, the Jet's bread is just like a pizza size bread and you get marinara sauce. And then I'll show you the pizza next. And the pizza I actually ordered is their new Greek style pizza, and it comes with a Greek sauce so that you can dip your pizza in. Uh, but it has, um, I'll tell you details about what it has in just a second, but I wanted to show you a good, a good close up picture of it. Look at all that good toppings, it looks wonderful. So I'll be, uh, I'll turn the camera around and I'll tell you the details and the costs and all that good stuff. Okay, right, so I'm gonna try the bread first. So the bread is, got a description written down. It's freshly baked pizza dough with premium mozzarella topped with butter, and garlic and romano and serve with your choice of dipping sauce i just got the the uh, uh marinara sauce so and we don't care about calories the uh the bread itself you get 12 pieces it was eight dollars and 49 cents and that was with the sauce so not too awfully bad so i'm gonna try i'm gonna try a piece without any sauce of course just kind of try the breadstick it smells smells very very strongly of parmesan and the romano you really smell it. it's really strong which is good i'm glad they really sprinkled it on there Very, very hot. It's a really good um, um, texture and they put a really nice uh, layer of cheese on there. Um, I wanna think before I go any further, um, I'll tell you the full cost and everything at the end, but Techno Squid had sent me a gift card for Jet's Pizza because he wanted me to try out one with pineapple. Still had some of that left over, so I used some on this order as well. I think I ended up paying only um, $9 out of my own money. So thank you very much, Techno Squid. Been a longtime supporter of not only my channel, but Tammy's channel. We really, really appreciate it. Hmm. Now the marinara sauce is cold, so they pulled it right out of the refrigerator when I was, when I got my order. Um, but I like the flavor of that uh, marinara sauce. It's got a lot of, uh, really nice seasonings and it's got a really good tomato flavor. So if you like a marinara, for sure get this. If, um, I'm wondering if they had a garlic uh, dip too that you could have dumped it in like garlic bread, butter. That would have probably been, for me, that probably would have been better. And the edges are really good and crispy too. I like that. Um, you do get four kind of edge pieces like that that aren't quite as big, but the other pieces are plenty big enough. Um, I really like that. I like the little corner pieces too. I don't know if I like it with the marinara by itself. Honestly, I like it both ways. You really get the flavor of the the cheese and stuff if you eat it without. But if you eat it with, you still get um, that crispy crust flavor. Um, it's really, really nice. So let me put the sauce, put the lid back on it because I know what would happen if I don't. I'll end up dumping it on the floor. <laughs> That'd be a mess. Um, let me switch around and me get the pizza over here and I'll be right back. Okay, so the description for the Greek pizza it is a limited time offer, so you have to get it while they still have it. It is a large pizza with premium mozzarella, feta, diced tomatoes, um, kalamata olives, that's the black olives, uh, mild peppers and red onions served with a side of Greek dressing. That's what this, uh, this Greek dressing is. Um, the price right now, I don't know if it was on sale or what, it's $15.99, that's how much I paid for it. So $15.99, not too awfully bad. My total, Thanks you, Josh. Uh, with tax, and that's the only where they have it on here. It would have been $29.95, but I think because they're running a special on the Greek pizza, it was cheaper. So um, it was um, mine, it, with, like I said, with tax, everything was $25.95. So that's how much it cost. So I'm going to try out this pizza. I'm, I'm going to try it out without any of the dressing at all. I'm going to try it just the way it is. Um, 
and there's toppings like all over. I mean, you couldn't, you can't miss the toppings. It's well covered. And it looks like they're little like uh, banana pepper rings, which I absolutely love. Those are those banana pepper rings. They have that vinegary kind of flavor to them. And I'll tell you what, you really taste the olives too. The olives are um, a really, really strong flavor. I don't really get the cheese much. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you really taste the olives and the peppers are the strongest flavor in there. I'm a little disappointed that you don't taste the cheese more. I really did wish, I really do wish you tasted more of the cheese. Um, let me try this piece. This That was kind of a corner piece. Let me try one from the, like the middle. Hmm. That one had a little bit different flavor. I also think I got um, more of that um, olives and stuff in there. The olives are really, really good, but they are strong. So if you don't like a black olive, then you, you won't like them. I'm gonna be really careful with this dressing. I don't want to dump it in my lab. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip it. Some people might pour it directly over their pizza. I don't like to do that because it makes the pizza like wet. I don't want to do that. I'll dip it though. It almost tastes like a a really zesty like Italian dressing. I was expecting um, kind of like a tzatziki sauce, but it's not like that. Yeah, it's kind of more like a like an Italian salad dressing. It's really nice. I like the flavor of it. Um, this is one you could do either way. You could either eat it just by itself uh, or you could eat with the dressing. If you eat it with the dressing, I think it kills the flavor of like the olives and peppers a little bit. Hmm. You still get the flavor of the olives and the peppers pretty decently though. Um, I like this. I think I like, um, I like some of their other pizzas better, but I do like this. If you want more of a, a vegetable top pizza that has a really like zippy zingy, um, kind of a, a thicker, creamier kind of Italian dressing, um, then this would be really, you would really, really like this. Um, I'm gonna give the pizza itself with the dressing, without the dressing, either it doesn't matter which way you wanna try it. I'm gonna give it, like I said, I really like some of their other pizzas just better. Uh, it's just a personal preference. I'm gonna give this pizza like, I don't know, four out of five. I really do like it, but it's not something I'd go back to all the time. Their breadsticks are really good. Um, they're just breadsticks though. So just keep that in mind. I'm also gonna give them a four out of five. They also sell like Detroit style that are thicker than made in a pan. Um, those might actually be even better and I might try those next time I come here. So um, I still like the pizza quite a bit. If you have it in your ear and you wanna try it out, it sounds good to you, go for it. Cause I really do think you'll like it, especially if you like those onions and uh, those uh, banana pepper kind of flavors. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.